What's up everybody and welcome back to another Tekka tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be going over how to make a recycler. Before you can make the recycler you're going to need a few things. Um, some of you may want to pause the video at this point and take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, we'll simply place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see that gives us an electronic circuit in which we're going to need to craft a compressor. And then you use the compressor to craft a recycler. Once I have the parts, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back now with the parts you're going to need to craft a compressor. Uh, so again, some of you may want to pause the video at this point point, take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, we'll simply place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us a compressor, which we're going to need to make the recycler. Alright, so I'm back now with the parts that we're going to need to make the recycler. Again, some of you may want to pause the video at this point, take note of the items over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, we'll place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our recycler. Real quick, we're going to run over here and hook this up. And I'm going to go over how to use it and what its you know, main purpose is. We'll go in here and take a stack of our cobblestone. As you can see, it's got power. We'll stick it in here. And it's going to be rather slow because we don't have any upgrades on the machine. But we'll eventually end up with nine pieces of scrap. I'll pause the video. Once I have nine pieces of scrap that will appear here, we'll wait till one pops up so that I can show you guys what a piece of the scrap looks like. As you can see, there's one piece of scrap. Once there's nine in here, I'll come back and start the video up and I'll show you what you can do with the scrap bags, as well as I'll go over what this scrap will be used for later on in the game. It's more end game when we're actually gonna make the quantum suit, I believe it is called. All right, well, I'm back now. As you can see, we got 13 pieces of scrap out of those two stacks of cobble. The recycler is basically you can stick anything in that you don't want and it will convert it into scrap. I'm not sure on the percentage, but there, I believe it's like a 1 in 10% chance that it will give you a piece of scrap, so the odds are kind of slim. You might want to craft a few of these recyclers. As you can see, it gave us another piece. Um, scrap can be used to, if you come over here to the crafting table and you fill the whole crafting grid with scrap. As you see, this will give us a scrap bag or a scrap box. Which we can come over here and simply right click the floor with and as you see it will give you a random item and return. Um, the values di differ. I do believe with scrap boxes you can get diamonds from time to time. But me per my, personally I use the scrap in order to feed a mass fabricator. For those of you that don't know a mass fabricator makes you you matter. Which you need to make iridium so that you can make iridium plates and eventually make a quantum suit. But with scrap, as you can see how fast this is going, my mass fabricator is hooked up to one high voltage solar array. You can see how fast it's going here. Now if you take this scrap and simply place it in the bottom, as you can see, it goes a lot faster. So the more scrap you have, the faster you'll be able to produce UU matter. So for those of you watching, you may want to hold on to that scrap so that later when we do make a mass fabricator, you'll be able to feed it into here and pr produce UU matter in a quicker fashion so that we can get the quantum suit which is what I'm wearing here. Um, it allows you to sprint super fast as well as jump super high. Um, the chest plate makes it so that you don't take any damage and the helmet which is probably the best feature to me is it allows you not to eat. You don't ever have to eat as long as it's charged. But that wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. Have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them below. Like I said, that's all I got. This has been Too Cold, and I'm out. Peace.